Welcome to Just Say This, the place to get all the help you need for the birds and bees talks. I'm your host, Amy Lang. Just a quick reminder, this show is for grown-ups because I'll be swearing. There'll be lots of swears, and then I'll also be talking about grown-up sex. I can guarantee that your kids do not want to listen to this, and they really don't want to listen to it with you. You've been warned. Do you have a question for me? Please give me a call. The phone number is 206-926-1522, 206-926-1522, and I will answer on the show. And if you have a funny sex talk story, please call in those as well, 206-926-1522. Thanks. It's time for your weekly chirp. What's a chirp? It's a script. I'll be picking one topic every other week and give you a script. So are they going to be perfect? Oh my God, no. And if you don't like it or you have a real problem with it and you feel like you need to let me know, please don't be a dick about it. They're not going to be perfect. So you need to tweak the language to suit your family. The next thing is this. Uh, Is it going to get the ball rolling? That's the goal. I'm going to give you one little thing to talk to your kids about and you can get at it. If your kids are younger, you're going to dumb the language down, make it simpler. If they're older, you're going to make it more complicated. These are actually directed at nine-year-olds. So enjoy this week's chirp. Hello, it's chirp time, and I am actually chirping about what's going to be in my mini newsletter that comes out in the mini middle of the month. And if you don't get it, my newsletter, if you go to birdsandbeesandkids.com, you can sign up and get all the super duper info from me. Here we go. Healthy vaginas. What do they smell like? Your kids need to know whether they've got one or not because there are smells down there and they can be confusing. And our darling culture has led us all to believe that the vagina should not smell or should smell like lilacs or flowers or roses or even grosser baby powder do you remember love's baby soft perfume oh my god so so gross and creepy anyway a little sidetrack there vaginas have smells they have a variety of smells and everybody's vagina smells different and the vagina smells change from one thing to another based on where a person is in their menstrual cycle so here are the general smells the kind the smells that you don't really need to worry about copper pennies so there might be kind of a metallic smell and oftentimes that smell can happen at the end of a period or after a period's over Next up, tangy, like yogurt or sourdough bread. So kind of a fresh and tangy smell. And then sometimes vaginas will smell like molasses. So not sweet exactly and not super like savory like chicken. Um, I can't really like nail that down. So it's a pleasant smell. It's a pleasant smell. Time to worry about your vagina is if it smells fishy or chemically, or this is gross, but sometimes people will accidentally leave a tampon in their vagina, and so it can smell kind of rotten. So a rule of thumb, a rule of thumb about the vagina is from my friend Nancy Amanda Red, who wrote a terrific book called Body Drama that I highly recommend you get for everyone. It's a little dated, but it's full of photographs and lots and lots of information. I think everybody, no matter their body, should have it. One of the best sections, I know I've talked about this before, is like their photographs of like 40 different vulvas. Anyway, I'm sidetracking. She says, if it's clear and white, it's all right. If it smells or is itchy, something's fishy. Anyway, there you go, Vagina Smells 101. Okay, so that was a lot. I don't know, pull what you will out of that. But the last thing is no douching. Douching wrecks the vagina. She is a self-cleaning unit. And so make sure everybody knows no douching. That's the bullshit from our culture that tells us that vaginas smell. They smell. 
And sometimes if they smell funky beyond the stuff I just talked about, then somebody needs to check things out down there. All right, there you go. Vagina smells. That's it for this week. Thanks to everyone who's been calling in. The number is 206-926-1522. So please leave me a message if you have a question or a tale from the trenches. And thank you to Melanie Smith, my producer, and to Rolf, who wrote the Birds and Bees and Kids theme song. 